welcome to Loving Truth. One of the great reasons for us to study a book of the Bible, like 1 John, which we're doing right now, from beginning to end, is that it helps us go through portions of Scripture we might not otherwise study. If we go for our devotions just to the book of Psalms and to our favorite Psalms, we're never going to understand or dive deep into the breadth of Scripture. Remember, all Scripture is given by inspiration of God. But that does, doesn't mean that all Scripture is easy to understand. Peter even said some of Paul's writings are hard to understand. And for us, we come to 1 John chapter 5 to a section of Scripture that it's hard to understand if you judge by those who write their commentaries, their books explaining the Bible. 1 John chapter 5, verse 16. If you see any brother or sister commit a sin that does not lead to death, you should pray and God will give them life. I refer to those whose sin does not lead to death. But there is a sin that leads to death, and I'm not saying that you should pray about that. All wrongdoing is sin, and there is a sin that does not lead to death. Now, I appreciate the wise comment of John Stott, who says, for those who first receive this portion of Scripture, apparently they easily understood these two categories. But for us, a sin which does not lead to death, and a sin that does lead to death are a bit difficult to understand. And, and if you study the different commentaries, the Bible scholars write on sections of Scripture, you'll see that the division and the debate continues. So John says, for those who commit um, the former, Christians are to pray and pray that God will give them life, but those who commit the latter, John says, you shouldn't even pray for them. In other words, those who commit a sin unto death, well, there's no reason even to pray. I think what we have to understand is that all sin is wrong, he says in verse 17, and we need to understand that in one sense, all sin leads to death. For the wages of sin, the price tag on sin is death. The reason why we die physically is because Adam and Eve disobeyed God and rebelled. And the warning was, eat of the fruit and you will die. They didn't die physically immediately, but they died spiritually because they were separated from God. And then ultimately, they died physically. So I think it's interesting to understand that this could refer to a specific sin. Some sin out there that you sin will kill you every time. Or, or it could refer to the sin of apostasy, which is often defined as that sin that takes you away from God. You leave God willingly and God lets you go. Or it could be what is described sometimes in the New Testament as the sin, the unpardonable sin, the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. Several people have written and said, and I'm thinking of Warren Wiersbe, I'm also thinking of Dr. John MacArthur, that this is not a particular sin per se, but a kind of sin that the Father so chooses to bring someone to their death. John MacArthur says, such a sin could be any premeditated and unconfessed sin that causes the Lord to bring a believer's life to an end. It's not one particular sin, but whatever sin is the final one in the tolerance of God, that becomes the sin unto death. And I think that's the best understanding of it. My understanding of the unpardonable sin is the sin against the Holy Spirit, the blasphemy against the Holy Spirit, which is that last time uh, or the final time that you resist him and God gives you over to your own decision. All sin is hateful to God and should be hateful to us. All sin leads to death, but sometimes 
believers have sinned or those who say they know God have sinned and their death has been premature. Nadab and Abihu in Leviticus chapter 10, Korah in Numbers chapter 16, Achan in Joshua chapter 7, Uzzah in 2 Samuel 6, in the New Testament, Ananias and Sapphira in Acts 5, and the abuses of the Lord's Supper in 1 Corinthians chapter 11. All of these seem to be people who sinned and God's judgment was immediate. Yeah, the point is, sin is serious. And all sin, all wrongdoing is sin. And the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. So as it says in 1 John chapter 1, we confess our sin. He is faithful and just to forgive our sin and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Unless we sin to the very end and say no to God, and then he allows that sin to take us into eternity. Serious business. But the Lord is a loving God who forgives. Let's pray. Father, even in portions of scripture that are difficult to understand, we seek to know your will. We seek, Father, to have your smile of approval on our lives and to yield to your truth. So let us understand that sin is serious business. It took Jesus to the cross. And therefore, Lord, let us do our very best by the power of the Holy Spirit to walk in obedience to your will and not play with sin. In Jesus' name, amen.